Texas Nightcast. Well, a local restaurant took its patrons around the world today without packing a bag or boarding a flight. J.K. O'Donnell's hosted the second, second annual Bior Go Lior. That's Gaelic for lots of beer. The festival featured more than 150 vendors from all over the globe. This is definitely a great way to kick off summer because I know for a lot of people summertime means relaxation and hanging out and even going out and trying new things and this is definitely a place you want to try new things and have a great time with your friends and meet even a lot of new people who have the same interests that you do. J.K. O'Donnell says today's festival was a great success and they're already busy planning for next year. Rubber ducks aren't just for bath time anymore. They're heading to the river. More than 18,000 ducks raced down the St. Joe River this morning to raise money for families in need. SCAN hosts this event every year. The organization stands for Stop Child Abuse and Neglect, and it's celebrating 40 years in the Summit City. We really work with parents to prevent abuse and neglect and help parents who are at risk for or who have experienced abuse and neglect. We work one-on-one -on -one in the homes, um, intensive therapy, anything that a parent needs to, um, to set them up for success and make sure that they are loving and nurturing their children in a healthy way. We wanted to let you know that this year it's been record-breaking for the event. SCAN raised more than $180,000 from today's raise. It seems like there's a festival for just about everything in Fort Wayne these days, so today's Pug Fest may come as no surprise. Yes, there is an entire celebration dedicated to the breed. Hundreds of pugs and their humans took over the Coliseum for the event. One of the festival organizers owns 11 pugs herself and says there are more than 100 adoptable pugs right here in the Midwest. And it's like Pug Nirvana. It's Pug Woodstock, you know what I mean? And so everybody gets in here and gets excited. The kids get excited. The dogs get excited. They're all like, oh my God, there's more of me. They've been through a lot. We get them in from divorces. We get them in from abandonment out of foreclosed homes. Those dogs need happy endings, and that's what we're here for. Money from today's festival benefits the Kentuckiana Pug Rescue. They take in pugs from Kentucky, Indiana, and Wisconsin. Well, those little dogs were so cute. Yep. A little bit smaller than Jackson and Johnny. Though. Oh yeah, my, uh, my dogs are a little bit bigger than that. Maybe three times the size of that. 